Hey everyone, it's Angel again. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, for today's video, I thought it would be a cool idea to do something with all of these shopping bags that I have. Um, especially this time of year, you know, we're shopping and buying presents and taking advantage of all the good, you know, holiday deals and sales and stuff. And I always end up with all of these shopping bags. And so I've been saving them uh, for a long time now. I've been saving these shopping bags because I knew that I wanted to make a junk journal with them. How I'm going to do that, I'm not quite sure yet, but I do have also, um, these uh, shipping boxes um, that I can use as the cover. So I'm thinking that I'm gonna use this size. I feel like this is gonna be the best size for me. I don't know. I mean, this is a good size too, but you know, I don't know, we'll see. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do. I, I don't even really have a plan yet, but Let's see what we can come up with, guys. Let me just jump right into it. So, like I said, I've got all these bags. Um, I don't know how I'm going to... So, I guess the best thing to do is to uh, pick out the bags that I'm going to use, since I really don't think I'm going to be able to use all of them. I've just got so many. And um, kind of open them up. And uh, yeah, so let me do all that and then I'll be right back. So I'm just gonna open them all up like that and um, just kind of get the paper ready to um, cut to the size that I need. And, uh, and yeah, so let me do that and then I'll be right back. I have flattened every single shopping bag um, that I think I want to use. Um, I didn't even flatten all the ones I actually have, but I flattened, I think, the ones that I thought that I could use. Some of them, like, see, like this Victoria's Secret bag. Um, I don't think that, because of how shiny, you know, like, plasticky, I don't know if I can glue anything on it using, like, regular glue. Although I do love the pink and black colors. Um, so yeah, and then like I got all these, I found a bunch of like receipts and tags and like um, coupons that I didn't even use. <laughs> um, so, uh, you know, I don't know. And like, I don't know if, I still haven't decided if I want to use this large size or, um, this smaller size, um, I don't know. Or if I want to use a bag as the cover. So, uh, so yeah, now that I've got all this flattened out, let me think about what I'm gonna do and I'll be right back. So I think I figured it out. I was gonna use um, one of these, like I said a few minutes ago, um, but actually, I think just going along with with the theme of it being a shopping bag junk journal, I'm going to use a shopping bag as the cover. And since this, um, my husband bought me a really nice bag uh, for my birthday last year. It's the only Louis Vuitton bag that I have, actually. It's the only one I have. Um, and um, anyway, he bought it for me for my birthday. And I, of course, I kept the bag. And um, since the paper of this bag seems to be the strongest, like the most uh, durable out of all of these other shopping bags I have. So I'm gonna use this as the cover. And um, since um, I wanna say this, these like smaller sizes are pretty much the, like the, the average size of these bags, I'm going to cut that cover to a smaller size and um, see what I can come up with, you guys. <laughs> this is a first for me. So um, it's pretty exciting. <laughs> so uh, 
yeah, let me figure it out and once again, I'll be right back. What I should do is just go ahead and decide what size I want the cover to be because that's basically gonna be what size, you know, the entire journal is gonna be. So um, let me move all this stuff and get out my paper trimmer wherever it is. Um, you know, I just, <laughs> I just cleaned in here kind of, like I just organized in here kind of, I mean, as much as I could. And um, so now I'm making a mess again, <laughs> which is the fun. And like, it's like, I'm, I'm not even gonna be able really to use my paper trimmer, um, but yeah. <laughs> so I think what I want to do is maybe um, kind of glue it Maybe kind of, uh, let me see. Uh, I think what I'm going to do here is um, cut the sides so that I can open it kind of. And uh, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. Cut the sides, and I'm not even going to care. Actually, let me tear it. Oh no! I should tear it like that. There we go. Let me cut it like that. Yeah, that's better. My um, my other scissors are in the living room, and I just don't feel like I just don't feel like going in there and getting them. So um, I so I don't know if what I want to do is because I really don't care. I mean, I mean, yeah, of course, who doesn't love you know the LV? <laughs> you know, who doesn't love that? But um, for the sake of a junk journal, I really don't care if, you know, it can be seen or not. Um, so I don't know if I want my journal to open this way or if I want it to, if I want to um, kind of sew it so that it opens this way and then, you know, I can hold it like a shopping bag. Huh. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think that's what I'm gonna do, okay. All right, so let me just cut it. Cut it again, I guess. Use these the tiny fussy cut scissors because like I said, my scissors are, my scissors are in the, um, are in the living room. Okay, so now I'm gonna figure out size I want it to be. Um, so I'm thinking, ooh, so it's like, it would be really hard to, to fold, huh? But I could do it. And that would make it, that would actually make it stronger. Let me see if I can staple it just to keep it kind of stable for now. Oh no, my stapler is not very strong. Um, but yeah. shopping bag, right? Yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I don't know if stapling it is the right way to go. And I, you know, I, I could sew it, but I'm just gonna staple it for right now, just to, just until I can figure out what, how I'm gonna do all of this. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna do the same to the other side of the bag and I'll be right back. I'm gonna do that on, well, I wasn't gonna do it on camera, but actually I think I am. Um, just in case anybody wants to do this along 
with me because um, the problem that I'm having is that I'm, I'm, I want to line it up so that the, um, the handle of my shopping bag um, stays together so that when it closes, it will, um, I'll be able to, you know, carry it like that. So I just have to make sure that I, and I still don't know if I want to keep it like this folded or not. I'm thinking not, but I'm thinking, no, I don't want to fold it. I mean, at least not for the whole like cover. So let me put these clips, let me put some clips on it just to help me out a little bit. And uh, yeah, <laughs> just bear with me you guys cause I've never done this before. And um, please feel free to steal this idea or uh, let me know if you've already done something like this and you know, and how you did it. So, okay. I kind of want to keep it folded like that because I feel like that's going to make the cover, it's going to keep the cover stronger, you know? I don't know. Um, yeah, I think that's what, I feel like that's what I want to do. I don't know if I can just because this, um, this is like, this paper is super thick and um, it's like reinforced with uh, like cardboard or something. Maybe I can, no, I can't. I mean, I can try. Ooh, yeah, look at that, okay. So that's gonna make it a little bit easier to fold. All right, so. And I'm not, like, I'm not even kind of trying to make this perfect, you guys. I just want it, I just wanted to do something with my shopping bags that were just laying around, you know, and I was just using them as, like garbage, you know, like a garbage bag, and then it would go into the garbage, and, um, you know, it was kind of making me feel bad about how, you know, just, I was throwing so much stuff away. Like, I would go shopping, and then I thought, I have all this stuff that I have to get rid of. So, um, you know, now I don't feel so bad, because now they're gonna be used. So, Okay. Oh, okay. So, well, now I have to, <laughs> I have to uh, do the same with this side. So let me get rid of these staples. I'm just getting rid of this kind of paper, like thick paper reinforcement on um, the, uh, what do you call this part of the bag? The, the edge of the bag here where the handle is, um, just because it's going to make it easier to fold and make it easier to glue. And uh, another thing that I'm going to do is um, I have to cut the, the bottom part of the bag to make it a little bit smaller. So, okay, so that makes it so much easier, right? Yeah. So that, okay, so yeah, that makes life so much, so much easier. So, okay. So we got that done and um, I think what I want to do is trim it so that I can glue it and then it will open and close like that. So um, I'm going to keep these seams. I'm going to keep this, this seam right here. Um, 
but I'm going to now will it fit into my paper trimmer I think so yeah um we'll see <laughs> we'll see if my little my little baby paper trimmer will will be able to get the job done with this but oh no it's just it's just no oh okay good it fits okay so it fits so I, I just want to cut like, just like maybe like a half an inch or three quarters of an inch past the seam here so that I can use it because I, I want to use it to uh, just, it'll make it easier for me to glue and fold, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, you guys. I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay. It looks like it worked, yay, okay, yay, it worked. I did cut off a little bit more than I had planned, but that's okay. Um, so now I have to see about, um, you know, but it still makes it, it still makes it too big. I think. I think that still makes it too big, y'all. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to cut off some more. Um, let's see. Let me fold it the way I want to fold it. Because, like I said, I, I'm not really. I care more about my actual purse than I do this paper bag. <laughs> um. And I don't really care if the name shows or not because I just wanted to use this paper since it was nice and thick as the cover. So I'm thinking that is going to be the size. I think that's the size. And then I can measure that. Okay, so that's going to be the size um, I know it seems like I don't know what I'm doing and the truth is I don't <laughs> like I do but I don't but you know just bear with me and hang out with me while I do this y'all because <laughs> this helps me out so I'm just um, marking there where um I want the fold to be so um, and I'm not even trying to get precise with it I honestly like this is going to be a junky junk journal this isn't going to be fancy um, it's not even going to be as cute as like my silly book even I just want it to um, not feel so guilty about um so I'm thinking should I should I fold it like that and then glue it or should I fold it in and glue it should I hmm. I think I know what I'm going to do I think I got it under control, y'all. I think so. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. So I'm going to cut it um, right here at the seam, sort of. At this, this seam right here. And, uh, and then I can glue it. Right? Hopefully it'll work out. <laughs> Hopefully, you guys. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So, that is what I'm going to do. Yeah. So, if this is my cover, and... And that's the inside, I guess. Or should this that be the outside? So this maybe this be the inside, and that be the outside. 
Yeah. Yeah. I think that's the best thing. Yeah. That is the best thing. So. <laughs> this is so complicated, you guys, isn't it? So, uh. I'm thinking tacky glue is the way to go here. So I may be making a huge mistake by using tacky glue, but I just feel like this is the way to go here. I really do. Um, actually, I'm gonna cut this part off too. I'm gonna cut the, this. So that's gonna make it so much easier to fold, I think. So yeah, <laughs> so we're just, and I'm like, I'm just doing it roughly because this is just really more of an experiment than anything else. Um, Cause I've never done this before. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, other than like masks when I was a little kid, I really don't think I've ever made anything out of a shopping bag before. I don't think I put enough, quite enough glue. And um, hopefully this paper will glue to itself. I doubt it. Like I'm thinking I didn't put enough glue, but oh well. Oh well, if I regret it later, then I'll regret it later, right? But for now, I just want to um, I just want to glue this down from a cover and get my paper in and be ready to go and work in it, sort of. <laughs> so yeah. So I think I'm gonna try to put more glue here. My glue is, is just super dried up and um, just uh, just a, a big blobby mess on the inside because I think I left it open a couple nights in a row so now it's like all thick and I really can't get it out. What should I do? Should I cut another? Yeah, so let's see if I can push that. Glue is unclogged, sort of. <laughs> so now I can finally get the, the amount I need. So, okay. All right, so you see what I did here? I um, I just folded in the sides and glued them down. And um, that's what I'm gonna do to the other side and then I'll be right back. I'm thinking it's dry enough to work with. Um, you know, while it was drying what I thought, you guys? <laughs> I could have just saved myself so much trouble by using one of these cardboard box wrapper thingies, whatever these are called, cardboard boxes, and um, just cut the bag up and glued it on and did it that way. But of course, I had to do it the hard way, but sometimes doing things the hard way uh, is a little bit more fun. <laughs> so let me just glue this part. This will be the last thing that I have to do. And I'm gonna be really, really, really generous with the glue. I probably should have been more generous with the glue on the inside as well, but you know, that's how I learn. Um, yeah, so I'm liking this so far though. This is fun so far, you guys. So, okay. So here is where I have to be a little bit more patient and um, just try to, um, Clip this down. I'm pr I probably am gonna go over this uh, with my sewing machine later, you know, or something. Maybe even manually sew it. I don't know, but yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna. <clears throat> but so far, I am very happy with this. Um, my my junk journal. <laughs> my shopping bag journal. So, um, yeah, so I'm gonna do the same thing that I did uh, before I let it dry earlier. So I'm gonna just weigh it down. And um, 
let that dry a little bit and then I will be back to finish up finish this up and um, sew in my pages. While that's drying, I think what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and um, just to make it, just to make things go a little faster for myself, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of uh, cut out my, my shopping bag pages. And um, I measured it on the inside and um, I want to say that the measurement that I'm, I'm trying to aim for is like about 12 by 11 inches. Um, I'm not even trying to make it, you know, that accurate. I just kind of, I want it to be very messy. And I was debating whether or not I was going to keep the handles or not, but I think, um, I think just for the sake of being nice and neat, I'm going to cut off like the stiffer handles, the ones that are made out of ribbon or uh, like a thin, uh, a more looser material, I'll probably keep. And I can use these or I can glue them, you know, I can glue them down or I can even glue them, you know, somehow glue them, somehow use them. But I'm thinking that, um, yeah, I'm probably gonna use this, this paper, this paper bag here um, as my template for around the size, you know, of the rest of my paper. So yeah, I hope I make sense. Cause like, I'm, I kind of don't even make sense to myself right now. Like I'm hearing myself talk out loud and like, just because I'm, I've never done this before and I'm kind of confused <laughs> about what I'm doing. I mean, I'm not confused. I mean, obviously I'm doing something. I'm just kind of confused about whether or not I'm doing it you know, the best way. I'm sure there's a better way to do this. And if you've done this before and you can think of a better way to do it, please leave me a comment below and let me know how you did it. Um, I would appreciate that <laughs> for the next time. Oh, like see, like for this, I'll probably leave these handles on because it's about the size that I need, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and leave the, at least on one side, maybe just on this side. On, right? And so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and do this off camera, but I'm just using this first, this first shopping bag. Uh, that I did as the template, as a measurement. And so I will be back with all of them um, cut and ready to sew in. Okay, so I have everything, all of the, the paper bags that, the shopping bags that I wanna use, cut to the size that I want. Um, some of them I had to put upside down because I wanted to keep the, um, the 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 handle here or like even the ones where I cut off the handles I put them upside down some of them because I didn't want it to be too bulky on you know on either the top or the bottom just to kind of even it out a little bit um my glue is pretty much dry at least it's dry enough to work with I can still feel it's a little bit mushy <laughs> in some in some parts but i just wanted to show you guys how it's going to end up looking once i um once i stitch it all in and i haven't decided how i'm going to stitch it in i just know that i'm going to stitch it in i'm guessing um you know just regular pamphlet style um i really would like to use my sewing machine but i just I just don't think that I can. I really should, but I just don't think that I can. A uh, long reach stapler really would be the best thing, but I don't have one. So I'm just gonna have to sew it in. So I'm not gonna do it on camera because it's gonna take a really, really long time. Um, but I'm just going to poke a few holes and, um, and stitch them in. And I will be back to show you guys the finished junk journal, shopping bag junk journal.
Okay, so I sewed in the very first signature. I'll do in the second one off camera, but I wanted to go ahead and um, finish up the video. Um, I'm, I'm sure, I don't know if you could tell from, uh, from watching, I really struggled with uh, putting it, you know, sewing it in. I'm not sure exactly what I did wrong. It may just be, I'm kind of rusty. Um, but yeah, I, I went ahead and sewed in the signature. I'm gonna have to, um, I'm gonna have to trim uh, the edges off of the, the paper, you know, down here. And I'm sure, you know, before I'm all done, I'm gonna have to, to, to do some more trimming and um, probably glue something over, you know, the stitching and just, you know, finish it up. Uh, maybe I'll do that in another video or maybe I'll do it off camera, but I just wanted to show you guys uh, basically what it's gonna look like. I mean, I've got like a cute little shopping bag junk journal and I think it's just like a cute little way to uh, use up all of the shopping bags that we're going to be <laughs> left with um, after the holiday season is over or maybe you're like me and um, save all of your shopping bags anyway so you probably got some lying around and uh, yeah please feel free to steal this idea I'm sure there's somebody out there who's probably already done this uh, probably much better than I did but I'm proud of my little shopping bag journal and um, I can't wait to work in it. I think it's cute and uh, yeah, <laughs> I can never find anything wrong with another junk journal. So. so I hope you liked it. I hope you liked this video. I hope it gave you some ideas about maybe what you can use around the house. And, um, and yeah, please give me a like and subscribe if you have not already and I will see you in the very next video. Until then, go out and make something or do something that makes you happy and brings you joy in your life and I will see you again really, really soon. Bye.